What's going on with it? It's your boy J Mass. Uh, really wanted to talk to you guys uh, today about this uh, trucking industry. Um, right now, you have companies uh, such as uh, CRST, Swift. You know, I'm gonna include uh, Decker. Just any trucking company. It's uh, basically us against them. Um, they're trying to find out how they can move you and work you as much as possible while they make large sums of money and you make as least as possible. What I'm uh, talking about now is um, uh, I've noticed in this industry, um, you know, no matter how good you think a company is or uh, how much they say that you you're a person and not a number, that's definitely not the case. At the end of the day, business is business, and we should look at it that way too. You know, for your time that you spend, you should try and get as much money as possible, especially if you're staying away from your family. And this is the only job that I know that, uh, you know, you could be sitting in a truck in another state and you're not getting paid for it, you know? So um, what uh, I'm trying to do is give people uh, information so they don't have to make the mistakes that I did and other people did. And um, if this is a way to help you uh, avoid those mistakes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here definitely to tell you. So, uh, recently I had someone uh, call and ask me some questions. Uh, I'm going to send a shout out to them uh, next week. But uh, it's been several people that have uh, called me and uh, emailed me and uh, inboxed me. Um, if you're dealing with a company like a CRST or any of these companies that want to put you into a contract, um, the best thing to do is uh, attend their CDL school. After attending their CDL school, it's imperative that you fail your orientation test. This, uh, in a lot of cases, will uh, nullify any contract that you may have signed because you didn't quit. They basically fired you or sent you home. Uh, but the trick is uh, not over. Companies like CRST, Swift, and the other companies that have you sign that contract, although you no longer work for them, they immediately triple and double charge you for your stay, which uh, a two-week stay uh, in uh, the facility out there in uh, Cedar Rapids, and you know, uh, you know, you're eating uh, cereal and bread and peanut butter. They've charged you. We'll say three to four thousand dollars, and charge you six thousand for their not a class, and they will they will go after you and they will uh, put it on your credit. Um, the best out for you is to fail the orientation test uh, a week prior to set up orientation at a company like a Maverick or a, a Decker or another one of those companies. Uh, so that as soon as you have your CDLs, which you're going to stop by your house and pick your CDLs up, because as soon as you uh, get that little package from CRST, after you uh, graduate and do your backing, your straight backing, your alley docking, after you finish all that stuff right there, you uh, basically the next day, uh, they're going to have paperwork that should be ready for you. Um but what they're going to do is they're going to try to send you through orientation. So, again, you know, go to orientation. They're going to give you the answers to the hazmat test. You fail that test, they'll get you a bus ticket back home. Uh, once you uh, leave the facility, uh, schools like uh, Maverick. And uh, if I'm you, and uh, this is what I ended up doing later on, I wish I had did it ahead of time, I would actually go on Indeed. And I would Google uh, training, uh, in, I mean, schools that accept recent graduates. 
because a lot of these uh, companies uh, accept recent gra graduates. Uh, you're going to find your better uh, companies or the ones that's going to pay you more are, are going to be the flatbed companies or the reefer uh, companies. Uh, the other thing is don't be in a rush. A lot of us, uh, you know, a thousand dollars seems like a lot of money, but a thousand dollars is really uh, not a lot of money, you know, to to some people, you know, especially uh, you, you're not being at home or anything, you know. It's it's good if you're single, I guess, and um, you're trying to, uh, you know, stack your money up, and you got no kids and family. But for those guys out there with kids and family, or uh, you know, you guys are thinking about, you know, doing something quick later on or building up to get your own fleet or your own truck to avoid a lot of the issues that you're going to have to go through. Uh, you want to find a company that you can actually stay with. I'm going to say for a year. Uh, me personally, I had to move around because again, uh, you know, I, I had to go through it. So you, you wouldn't have to, uh, currently, um, I'm, uh, I left Decker and, uh, there was nothing wrong with Decker, but I left Decker after 90 days. Um, I, um, actually am going into month seven. And if you go on Indeed, you will, uh, you can actually put in, uh, experience six months, uh, CDL, uh, driver. There are companies around here that will pay you for doing 2,200 miles. That's right, 2,200 miles a week for $1,400 salary. And, uh, you know, there are other companies that will actually, after six months, um, you can get two to 3000 a week working for these companies, uh, you know, doing a lease. Um, if you guys don't have it, there's a... a an app called Pulse uh, that you can download on your phone. And the best thing about it is you don't have to keep on doing the application so you can go to all these different schools or look for these different jobs. You put one application on there, it'll save it for you, and then you can apply to all these other jobs. Again, if I'm you, I'm looking on Indeed to find the better jobs. I'm Googling companies that take recent graduates that pay tuition reimbursement like maverick tuition reimbursement pays uh they pay some of the highest amount of miles around um and they actually do treat you like a person uh the other companies uh you will probably want to look at and you might be able to slide in you might get uh Believe it or not, Tyson, Tyson Chicken actually have a program. And if I'm a lot of you guys, I'm trying to get out in the oil fields. You know, get that experience out there in the oil fields or get some experience training in car hauling. Uh, if you're thinking about making four or $5,000 a week, these are the uh, kind of jobs that you're looking for, you know, and, uh, you know, Again, what I'm trying to do is set you guys up uh, for success, you know, kind of go around the same route that I'm I'm trying to go because uh, I'm definitely trying to get to the point where uh, I'll have my own truck in about six to eight months and um, we'll be leasing on to a company. Uh, we're actually going to have our own authority. And, um, you know, we'll be on here letting you guys know what you need to do for you. Because, uh, really, you know, this thing, a lot of people make it harder than it is. If if you're just tr trying to make a, a living, you know, $1,000, that's fine. I know, I'm not uh, talking to the guy that's trying to make $1,000 a week and just, you know, live at home. home and is not, uh, you know, really trying to push their sales uh, into a legacy for their family and their kids, you know, cause for me, it's like, why would you put your child in a situation that you were in? And then they keep repeating the same cycle. You know what I mean? You know, uh, 
work a nine to five, you know, uh, work for somebody else, listen to other people tell you what to do, uh, let other people treat you however they want to treat you and you show up every day for a paycheck. You know, it's like a, a vicious circle of recidivism. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's your boy, Jay Mass. Uh, look up uh, some of that stuff I was telling you guys about. I really want uh, uh, some of you guys out here to succeed. I know you guys uh, continue, uh, you know, giving me the calls, messaging me. I'll get back to you uh, when I can, if I hadn't already got back up with you. And uh, the other thing, uh, y'all be safe out here on this road. Winter time's coming, and that's the other thing, you know. You out here risking right uh, life and limb, and these people, uh, they don't care nothing about you. They don't got, uh, you know, they uh, complain about somebody, uh, you know, switching jobs, but they don't have any loyalty to you as a person, you know. Let something happen to your family while you're out there on the road. They, you know, they, they, they'll uh, put you out there and get another load, you know. I I don't even want to <laughs> next time next next time I talk on here I'm gonna tell you about you know my company Decker that I was uh dealing with you know I'm not with them anymore I'm with Paul Miller uh which is right here in uh Hershey Pennsylvania where I stay at but um you know 1400 salary home every weekend and uh I'm driving regional so New York New Jersey everything right around the house but uh Long story short, I'm going to tell you guys uh, next week, you know, how Decker did me when my mother died and I was all the way in Idaho. I mean, like, not even 10 cent to help me get home. But, you know, that's just that's how the business is. You can't complain. You just got to expect uh, the worst when it comes to these companies. All right, it's your boy Jay Mass. I didn't talk to y'all to death. I'll holler at you.